when people work with a, a system like A Course in Miracles or any, there's just many wonderful pathways to God. It really, it takes devotion, it takes willingness. A lot of times people will have this idea, this block that comes into mind that just says, I'm not ready. Or, why me? Mm. A miracle worker? My gosh, my parents never mentioned that in all those years. Uh, you know, they, they finish your finish your potatoes and, and by the way, you know, you're a miracle worker so you really got to purify your heart and, and really, uh, you know, be open for miracles. And, and I had the same kind of thing and initially with the Course, there was a bit of a thought of about am I ready for this, you know, are you sure that you want me to use the rest of my life on earth, so to speak, in the capacity of working miracles? Whatever, I wasn't even sure what that meant, you know, I was still going through the first 50 principles and going, whoa, <laughs> this is like some heavy duty training here, it's just not like, you know, be love, it's like 50 principles and then you got 31 chapters to go after that, you know. So for me, I really had to be open to really be intuitive and listen and it was like, you know, you know, this, what I heard was you are ready now because I will perform miracles through you. Mm. That I am the, am the source of the miracles and all you have to do is just say yes and be willing. You don't have to have a, a resume for this. You don't have to, ha you know, pass the course. You have to, as you start the course, I'm ready to use you immediately as a miracle worker. And you have to let all the doubt thoughts flush up that would say, whoa, you know, is this, are you, are you talking to me? <laughs> you know, it's like, what, uh, you know, am I, what, what, what is this? Am I like a chosen one or something? And mm. it's like, no, all are called. Few choose to listen, which is a reinterpretation of what's in the Bible about the chosen ones. All are called. Few choose to listen. And Jesus was talking to me just saying, be one that listens. Listen to me and follow how I instruct you. So, as Kathy was saying, I kind of immersed myself for the first two, two and a half years reading the book for eight hours a day, not consecutively, I would kind of use it more as an I Ching, kind of get, pop it open and get answers to my questions, to my prayers, and then I would be so excited I would read on for chapters, and then I would do that over and over. And, and what it did was it opened me up to hear the voice of Jesus, like Helen Schuckman. Which made my life very, very, very easy at that point. Before it was a tickle in the heart, it was emotions, it was billboards, bumper stickers, it was reaching me and dreams and all kinds of signs and symbols. But once I, the, clearly the voice was in my mind, and it wasn't just like, I love you, it was, you know, you forgot your keys, call so and so, turn left, you know, your other left, you know, you know, it's very humorous, playful, but very, very, very specific, and that's why life got very, very easy. If you kind of, like having a little Jesus bird on your shoulder, it's just chirping away. I mean, I would, I'd go off to the conferences, i go to listen to Ken Wapnick, or go meet Robert Perry, go to conferences or whatever. I'm getting commentary from Jesus on the other teachings, <laughs> the teachers teaching the Course. Ooh, good point, good point. No, that's not what I meant. This is what I want to know, this and this and this. It helps you cut through, you know, what seems to be personal interpretations when the master, the way shower is like, like a little bird in there. You know, like, very, very good. Now, let's put this into practical application right now. You are thinking about so and so, and you need to forgive them. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, you know. And, and, and when you get that kind of commentary uh, going, going, going in your mind, it's going to speed things up. Because confusion comes from not listening to Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So really, I, I want to make that point though, that you are ready now. You have been called as a miracle worker, and it's best to be clean and straight on that, and humble, and go, okay, okay. you guide, you know, you guide the way. I will step back and let you lead the way, and then, wow, what a life comes from that. Just a miraculous <laughs> life. Swimming pools. Swimming pools and salmon. Yeah. <laughs>